Welcome back to Size Previews. As always, I'm Luke Matthews, joined by Chris Spins. Sit back, relax, and let's get into it. We're going to start the episode with back into the explosives. I think that's right. Yeah, I mean, we've got some really exciting stuff coming up, haven't we? So we've got to get into it at some point, haven't we? I think we is. And obviously, these things are things that nobody has seen. We worked on the project last year, and now it's the first time people have seen them. It's the return of the jogging. Do you know what? With this, it's almost I want people to try and guess. This. I mean, we're going to have to tell them because that's what we're here for, isn't it? But I almost want people to try and guess what the story is a little bit. I think it's one of them where once you know, you know. But I reckon it's that sort of, not niche, but it's that small of a reference. I don't think they'd get it. It's, it's not niche to us, is it? No. It's an iconic image. Should okay, I say that? You, you tell us. So it's ba these shoes have come from an iconic image of Joel Strummer running. He's got the kind of Jamaica Adidas shorts on, reference on there. And then he's got the, what we think is the night. Uh, well, we don't, we don't really know. We're no, on right. the I mean, fence it, about it. It like, looks like night jogger in terms of colorway. And these two shoes pay homage to that one image. So you'll see his bib number on the tongue and you'll see the colors reference throughout. So this is very much paying homage to the night jogger. Yeah. That paying homage to his shorts. And we feel it really takes the shoe into a new space anyway, because traditionally when we worked on the shoe, typically it was nylon underlays. It yeah. felt quite sporty. Take it into the really premium white tumble leather, it makes it feel a different shoe altogether. Yeah, there. I mean, we, we debate about the night jogger thing. We really do debate about it. We've looked at that picture in so much detail, but it's quite difficult. There's one image of the shoe on there that you can really see. So it'd be interesting to see you guys come back in. Mm. It, it, it might not be the night jogger, but yeah. as, as far as the shoes go, once you see the image, we can see the details in the shoes, I mean, and you can see the storytelling, and it's just amazing to like, get a, an image of, of obviously an iconic kind of punk frontman, and it translates what 30, 40 years Massive, down the line right? into a pair of shoes, and that, that's what we like to do, isn't it? That's what we like to do. I mean, this colour for me as well. It goes through the year, years yeah. and ages, anyway. It's iconic, anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So next up, we've got the next instalment of our Cortez story. And I yeah. mean. Is this one even better? I, I, I think it probably I'll tell is. Tell you what, this is one I've been massively excited for. Really, I, I can't. I'm, I'm going to put it out there, really excited for this one. Okay, that's, that's, There's that's a couple shiny. of different layers to it. I mean, first of all, if you just look at the product, it's something completely different to what we've already seen from a, a Cortez perspective. Obviously, it's, it's fully exclusive. You referenced our previous exclusive. That, that was great. It, it was suede. So we'd already done the material play, but then we wanted to take the colour thing into a completely different space to what you're seeing come from Cortez full stop and then what you've seen come from Cortez from us previously. And we're really happy with what we've landed on with these. Yeah, I mean, for me, first of all, and obviously we worked on this probably 18 months ago, the shoe feels very much in terms of the color of now, Yeah, which I think is great. <laughs> and obviously we said, we've seen a lot of light-based traditional color Cortez in the market. The white leather version's iconic, but it's also everywhere. Yeah, I think from our side, we wanted something completely different. If you had that white leather one in your collection, alongside yeah. the first size exclusive, what would make you want to go back in and buy another one? And for us, it's that dark tooling. We've yeah. not seen that on anything yet. It takes it into, into com a completely different space. Why I'm really excited about this is when I was younger, and I'm probably giving my age away a Get little bit. Get comfortable, because this yeah, is yeah. a long story. When I was younger, around 96, a certain Mr. Liam Gallagher, he had a little spell of, I know he's kind of like predominantly added this these days, but he had a little spell of word night Cortez. Now he, he had a, a brown Cortez, I had an image on my wall at the side of my bed where he was wearing a brown, a, pretty much exactly the same as this. Probably not as premium because we've obviously specced it up a little bit. But for years and years I always wanted that Cortez. And now we've got, we had the opportunity to kind of bring it back in. And yeah, you might it's a great colourway away from the Liam Gallagher bit, but to now be able to own that brown Cortez, it means a lot to me. What was the rig? What was he wearing at the time? Oh, there's a couple of pictures. I don't really want to go into detail. There's a couple of pictures like that. But you can imagine 96, you mean? It, it, I think he actually wore Cortez on stage at the main road gig when he had the iconic Umbro tracksuit on. He was wearing a, a Navy Cortez then, but the brown Cortez, I think he wore Earl's Court or something like that. But there was, I had an image at the side of my bed and I always wanted that brown Cortez and here we are. Here we go, full circle. And to finish the episode, you have already seen a little bit of this project. Back in December, back in Grimsby, we did show these on stage. A little glimpse, not many people have seen them. But now we can finally reveal them. And this is the Adidas London, but yeah. this is inspired by Monopoly. Boom. I mean, when we talk about working on London and it's an iconic model, you firstly have to almost take a step back and look at what the model means, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And I think we were conscious of when working on such an iconic model, in that long lineage of amazing Londoners over the years, 
How do you do something that feels in keeping in that long lineage, but also takes it to a brand new space and feels like it is almost a London for today? Yeah, we wanted to keep it quite, the storytelling quite pure, but take it into a different space. And, that, and that's why we come up with this concept, I mean, I think we, we've got it perfect here. I mean, you can see the references straight away when you look at the shoes, when you look at the details again, you've got the postcodes on the heels and stuff. One thing we mentioned earlier as well is that you've already seen these, but you've never seen them this close because we purposely kind of kept them quite far away and didn't really share that much information on them. So to get them out there and really show the details up close it is, is amazing to get to this point. Yeah, I think like we always say with these like shoes that have a lot of storytelling to it, in isolation, you can see the shoes on the shelf. Yeah. Like they just look like amazing Londons anyway. Yeah. When you look into it and break it down, obviously the eight colours of the shoes are the eight street colours from the iconic Monopoly board. Yeah. You'll see the colour of the board also on the footbeds. And there's loads and loads of little details throughout the shoes as well. From the cars on the back of the tongue to the footbed, post goes stamped into the heel. And there's a lot more when you get into packaging and everything as well. I think what's exciting as well when we see these shoes is it's almost like we could have gone down any angle. We could have gone down any avenue. Yeah. When, we, when you think of London, there's endless ways of storytelling. Yeah. But these, the colours just feel right on this. Well, we explored all them different places, and as soon as we landed on this one, it was like that. That's the one, and it to be fair, it was, it was you who kind of brought it to the table. This one, and it was like that's that's the right. That's that's the one we're going after. Do you mean that's the best way of doing it? But we have got some more packs coming up based around cities in the near future. That's not gone down this avenue, so it's nice to do something really refreshing. I would say, and, and apart from that, like, I mean, just how the shoes are made, like quality of the shoes again spot on some of these these are the best kind of like shoes in this area we've done for the last from a quality perspective for the last what 12 months yeah i mean one thing that did really split opinion when we revealed these shoes is what order you'd rank them in mm. i mean i have my favorites but it really split opinion that night didn't it yeah yeah i mean what's yours i'd say my favourite's probably, that's why I'm probably I'm holding it. I'd say it's probably this one. I'm torn between these two. Yeah. But then for me, that one is almost like, that feels like this is the iconic London colour in yeah. terms of that palette. It feels quite a traditional London colour. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, it's brown yellow all day. And it's never changed since day one, since we kind of got the initial samples. I think when we were in Clay Fox, which is mental, how long ago was that now? Back in the December, year. December, yeah. Yeah, I think there was it was it was really split, wasn't it? You know I mean, which I thought there might be one strong, well, one stronger than the other. But I think the beauty with this whole pack is that, is that you kind of need because of the storytelling, because of the monopoly police, you kind of need all four. I'm sorry about that because you're going to make try and buy four shoes. But like uh, you, you kind of need all four mm. to complete the collection, don't you? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything we've got coming through. We love your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.